So this is the Revenge OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is the 5th January 2019 build of Android Pie of the Revenge OS. So let me just show you the quick settings panel over here and as you can see this one has some kind of blue and greenish like tint like dual tone tint on the like whole UI and it, it goes from the brightness slider to these quick toggles to like everything. And if you have noticed this like the corners over here of this like quick settings panel is rounded and this rounded corners are everywhere. Let me show you and if you open an app and inside this like panel as you can see inside the recent panel everything is kind of rounded over here as you can see. So that's how it is like all over the UI and you will like either like it or either hate it. And over here we have the OnePlus kind of like the OxygenOS kind of Vault logo and Vault does work fine. Let me place a call and show you. So as you can see Vault does work fine but the thing is there is no call recording button or something like that. So this is pure stock Android dialer where you do not get any like the call recording button. So that's how it is over here. Now let me go into the quick settings panel and over here you can just like swipe to the right of course and you can add more bunch of stuff from here. You have like multiple options over here and you get the heads up disabling option and stuff if you need those things and inside hotspot let me just show you. So here you do get the 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz band of hotspot you don't need to worry and the stock launcher over here I think it's kind of a like the quick step launcher but maybe it might be the pixel launcher too because as you can see swiping down anywhere from the home screen does not get you the recent panel i mean the quick settings panel sorry and over to the left we have the google now cards kind of thing and let me show you the launcher settings quickly over here inside over here we do have the notification dots at a glance settings and add icon to home screen feature is there display google app that's for the google now cards and I have disabled this suggestion. So this is kind of the pixel launcher, the basic pixel launcher. So that's how it is. And let me show you the stock cameras of this ROM. Well, the stock camera over here are two cameras. Here, as you can see, we do have the Mi A2's camera and portrait and stuff does work super fine over here on this camera. So you don't need to worry. Mi A2's camera is there and works perfectly fine. And we do get the Snapdragon camera too, which is the Zenfone's camera app and as you can see everything is there and you get these kind of settings so both cameras are there and both works super fine now one thing regarding the camera is a con is let me show you over here with the manual camera compatibility and as you can see everything is red so you do not get camera to api by default in this rom so that's a downside and disappointment but it is like it's up to you if you need camera to api you have to just flash any camera to api module then you can like install any Pixel 3 camera or Google camera, whatever you need. Now let's talk about Google Pay. Well, is it working? Well, yeah, after like you complete the setup, the Google Pay should be working right away after you flash the ROM. You do not need to do any kind of tweaks for this. Let me show you. I did set up my Google Pay and it is working fine, but the finger scanner is like working a little bit differently. As you can see, the Google Pay, I did set it up and everything is working and even like payments and stuff i did some payments and it did work fine so you don't need to worry at all regarding google pay or any banking apps now let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom so the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast you don't need to worry at all regarding the fingerprint scanner but in my opinion this is like one of the fastest fingerprint scanner and as you can see the screen is off right now and i'm touching the fingerprint scanner and boom it unlocked so the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast you don't need to worry at all and let me just go into the settings and show you the system and about section and stuff and over here you do get a system updater but this feature will be available from the next update as uh, like according to the developer so that is a cool thing and it's gonna be 
kind of the mocky delta update or the cyanogen mod updates as it was previously like years ago so this is kind of a gonna be a delta update for this rom and let me show you the gestures and over here you do get this swipe to take a screenshot feature as you can see three finger swipe to take a screenshot works fine and you do get this swipe of home gesture and you even have this double tap to sleep but for this you need to install like i mean you need to use this full screen gesture and like if you do this it's gonna be on the recent panel and if you do this all the way up it's gonna be on the app drawer so that's how it is let me just go back and inside about phone we do get this android version and here it shows the revenge os logo and we do have the android version as android 9 and the base event version kernel version is there but we do not have the security patch level over here but that's how it is and this is how the settings panel looks like and it does look pretty colorful and let me show you the display settings and the sound settings quickly and here you will find the night light and stuff and it is working fine and even if you have noticed the button does look like the blue and green kind of tint like it has the dual tone kind of tint and everywhere you will find it in the settings and we do have the auto brightness and stuff i'll just leave it turned off and sleep timer is there up to 30 minutes and what else we have some like the double tap to wake feature and stuff but double tap to sleep is of course there and i'll show you the customizations later on and we have the device theme only over here as you can see light and dark but we do not get the like the accent colors over here so that's how it is and let me show you the sound settings quickly and from here you will find everything again that blue and greenish kind of tint everywhere and we have the also vibrate for calls option and you can set the, the ringtone for like each sim card and here you will find this kind of things like the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration and the touch sounds etc and even we have this touch vibration option but one thing to note that this vibration you can't control the intensity and over here the vibration is pretty smooth and it is not harsh so that's one kind of thing if you like want to know about the vibration of this ui and over here one thing to like keep note of is even if your phone is on vibrate or even silent mode over here and as you can see even the volume panels does look kind of that blue and green kind of tint and even silent mode if you want to like take a like screenshot it makes the screenshot taking sound so that's one kind of a bug or you can call it it may be fixed in the future so but that's how it is and here we have the security option here you will get this smart lock and stuff and inside lock screen let me show you you do get this fingerprint unlock option so that you can unlock the screen with the fingerprint scanner always you don't have to enter the pin every time you reboot the phone so that's a pretty cool feature let me just go back and i'll show you the face unlock and stuff later on here we have the all the customizations of this rom inside extensions so inside status bar we have the status bar items here you will find the bluetooth headset hotspot etc icons you can enable or disable whichever you want and we have like more options over here and traffic indicator in the status bar is there and as you can see it appears if you want to use them you can do that let me just go back inside misc settings or misc extensions we have the status bar double tap to sleep so i can just double tap on the status bar anytime to lock the screen or lock the phone so the double tap to sleep works super fine you don't need to worry but there is no double tap to sleep in the home screen of this like default launcher so just keep that in mind and inside notification panel we have the notification options from here you can disable the heads up and you can even choose timeout for the heads up and stuff and we have the notification led customization over here let's go back we have the navigation option and here you will find the navigation bar customization you can invert the layout too if you want to like change the back button to the right side so that's how it is and we even have this like rotation of android pie kind of thing and it appears like right away let me just decrease the brightness a little bit all right so let's go back we even have this edge gestures the full screen edge gestures option is there you can use it if you want to use that but over here one thing to keep note of is there is no option to like disable the vibration of this like these gestures so that's how it is you can't disable the vibration but you can control the delay over here as you can see and you can like change these kind of things 
the both sides trigger and stuff so these options are there so let's just go back the full screen edge gestures are there and it works super fine and inside recents we do not have anything it, it's like totally blank so it might be implemented in the future inside lock screen we have the lock screen ui here you will get the face auto unlock and disable quick settings option is there and double tap to sleep on the like lock screen is there and you can set the temperature unit to celsius of the lock screen let me just show you the lock screen here the temperature is currently not showing but i don't know why it's there so that's how it is now inside lock screen tuner you can like choose the lock screen shortcuts on the left and right from here so that's how it is you can change whatever shortcuts you want to add in the lock screen so now let me show you the face unlock speed over here let's go inside security and let's set up the face unlock let me enter the pin so from here just tap on trusted face and by the way guys you do not need to flash any kind of separate g apps for this rom so that is one pretty cool thing this rom does include the g app so you don't need to flash any micro or like pico any kind of g apps on this rom you just go to twrp wipe cache dalvik system data then just flash the rom just the rom file so that's it so let me try the face unlock speed now So as you can see the face unlock is fairly quick, I do not have any complaints regarding the face unlock at all. As you can see it unlocks right away. So face unlock is there and it is working super fine on this ROM. Inside system we have buttons and from here we get the advanced restart option. So in, let me show you the power menu quickly. Here you will see this advanced reboot option and if you tap on it, it will show you the options to boot into recovery, bootloader or, or just soft reboot or you can even like reboot the system UI. So these options are present and you can use them if you want to. Now let's go back. We do have this playback control and volume rocker wake option and that is all for the customizations. So the customizations are pretty limited over here, I have to say. So if you want huge amount of customizations, maybe try some other ROMs like Havoc OS. So that's how it is for this ROM. Let me open like some of the apps and show you guys the app one of speeds and the RAM management. And as you can see, it does do the Android Pie kind of like animation over here. So that looks pretty cool in my opinion. And if you just like open multiple apps, as you can see, the app open up speeds are fairly quick. I do not have, have any complaints regarding this app open up speeds. And I'll show you the RAM management right now. So let me open all the apps I opened already. So as you can see, I think like all the apps are in memory. So you don't have any kind of issues regarding memory management. So this is pretty cool. You can like open multiple apps. And this is the 4GB RAM variant by the way. And you can switch between apps just like this fairly quickly and as you can see android pi is handling the memory management pretty well over here so that is how it is let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this rom so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now